Hi, I'm Tony Gagnon with the Tuning School. This Tech Tuesday, we're going to be showing you how to use the crank relearn procedure for your Ford using HP tuners. The 2011 newer Ford vehicles that have the crank sensor attached to the rear of the crank require crank sensor relearn procedure to ensure the crank sensor timing read is correct to the engine rotation. When removing a flywheel or flex plate on the back of these engines, the crank sensor reluctor ring is held in place by the assembly. If the crank relearn procedure is not done, the engine may not be in time. There may be codes 340, 315, or a 300 code for random misfire. The crank sensor relearn must be done at that point to eliminate those misfire codes. In HP Tuners, we have the capability of doing this through the scanner. So the first thing we're going to do is going to start our scanner. When it connects to the vehicle, it goes across and we'll pull all the PIDs. That is up. Once it's up, first thing we do is we're going to check that DTC menu just to make sure. Read DTCs. We don't want any DTCs. If you have any DTCs, the engine will not do a crank clearing procedure. In this case, we have no DTs noted, which is good. I'm gonna clear anyway at this point, and then I'm gonna exit. We're ready to go to our input outputs next. Select our input outputs. You'll notice there's two things here, the cam reset and the crank relearn. The cam reset is needed sometimes if you have to reset the cam memory, which is kept alive memory as we call it. In this case, we don't need to, so we're gonna go right into the crank relearn procedure. The first thing it tells us, it needs to be over 80 degrees Celsius. 180 degrees is our target. All right, at this point in time, we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. It's gonna tell us to start the car. We'll make sure that it's in closed loop. And I'm gonna wait till it goes into closed loop and everything's working. Here we are in closed loop now. We'll select our OK. Parking brake is on. Here we go, 4,500. Crank relearn successful. That was our target. A crank relearn procedure should be done whenever there is mechanical work done to the transmission and or the engine assembly that may have disturbed the crankshaft camshaft timing correlation. To learn more about variable cam timing, make sure to check out this video I hope this helps explain how to tune for mechanical changes to your Ford. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Tech Tuesday. Make sure to follow us on social media for more high-performance tuning knowledge. And until then, stay tuned.